What's going on everyone? We are back for another, not tutorial, but another video. I want to just jump on here real quick and talk about palettes. As you guys have seen, I have been reviewing a lot of different brands, new brands for me and uh, different palettes. And I wanted to just share my thoughts. If you guys like what you see here, Make sure you check out my previous video on this makeup look. And yeah, so to get these bright eyes that's all over Instagram, hands down the top, has been Juvia's Place. And this is their Zulu palette. The Zulu. And my girl Anastasia right here the pigment is just there it does not dust away after you know a few hours it is it's exactly how it looks like in the pan which is what I love I think a big part of that also is the P Louise base um, this is from I believe the UK so it's a little bit pricey for shipping but it is so worth it it is phenomenal hands down especially for the yellows that dust away and they just don't show sometimes that base i think really helps to lock in the color um, and give it the full pigment payout that you're looking for definitely hands down my favorite when it comes to looks like this another favorite of mine as well when it comes to pigment is Jeffree Star. Jeffree Star is really, really good. This is a Jawbreaker palette. Uh, looks like this. These pastels are so hard to look pigmented. And I don't know how, but Homeboy did it. He did the thing with this palette. So I love it. I recommend it regardless of what he does with his friends I like his makeup his makeup is good it's doesn't completely kill your wallet but you're paying for quality uh, products when you buy his stuff and his packaging is good I don't have to worry about this breaking or whatever while I'm traveling another great 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 brand is Lunar Beauty this is the Moonspell palette. I think it's a Halloween or a holiday palette. Beautiful. The pigment is just, like I said, it's just there. And what I love about this palette is the glitters that he put in here. These colors are beautiful. Like, what? And it's so creamy it doesn't feel dry or dusty on your eyes it it's just beautiful and it feels phenomenal and it stays on and that's all we want out of an eyeshadow is to stay on all night while I'm dancing that's it and then as always for you guys know I'm a makeup artist I do brides bridesmaids all that jazz again i gotta give it to miss anastasia i love the norvina palette which is this one as you can see my palette is loved and what do i like about this i like that it has transition shades because a lot of these brides and bridesmaids they want a natural look and whatever um, so i can give them that and then give them a little bit of pizzazz to at the end with some of these shimmers look how pretty these are and a lot of times too with brides they want these type of colors and a lot of bridesmaids too they want that these like rose gold gold champagne it's really it's really in right now and then again too they are super super creamy they last, I ain't gonna worry about nothing. 
Another favorite, this is my last favorite, and it is a little bit pricey. Not a little bit, it is pricey. And it is the Pat McGrath Mothership Palette. And it looks like that. The pans are really, really big compared to um, other uh, eyeshadows, but this reminds me so much of the JLo Glow. Do you guys see the reflect on those pigments right now? It just looks wet and I don't know, like a mermaid. <laughs> know <laughs> but it is just so beautiful it glides on so nicely Pat McGrath I love you this palette is beautiful and be on the lookout because I ordered the Scott Barnes mesmerized palette which is apparently from what he explains is something that's never been created which is why I bought it hundred another hundred and some dollar palette but uh, I'm pretty excited about it. Okay, so yeah guys, these were my favorite palettes and uh, yeah, that's 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 really about it. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video, this quick video, and I will see you in the next one.